These ceramic igniters that you would find in your house get up to about 1,500 degrees Celsius. That's 30% the temperature of the sun. We're going to use them to roast a marshmallow. At Course Tech, we push our ceramics to their limits, all in the name of making better materials and designs for our customers. I'm Dr. David Hook. And I'm Dr. Amy Morsey. In this series, we're taking you into the lab to show you how ceramics can withstand even the most extreme conditions. These are ceramic igniters. Course Tech makes a ton of them, and you probably have a bunch in your home. They're used in your furnace, in your water heater, even your gas range. These igniters reach a temperature of 1500 degrees within a matter of seconds. You turn it on, it glows hot, and the gas stream ignites immediately. All right, so we've rigged two household igniters up in these test stands. Uh, I'm going to flick the switch, they're going to glow real hot, and I'm going to stick this peep right between them, and we will see what happens. Uh, either we'll have a tasty treat or some kind of fire hazard. Okay, on your marks, it's set, glow. See in about five or six seconds or so, they've already reached their maximum temperature. Uh, a little bit of smoke coming off now. Uh, see a little bit of fire. Uh, yeah, it's not a, not a happy peep. I don't think this is the best way to roast a marshmallow, but it certainly gets the point across. These things are hot. Probably not gonna eat peeps. So yeah, in a matter of seconds, these igniters went from room temperature up to 1500 degrees Celsius so yeah, they have a lot of heat to them, enough to uh, really char this marshmallow up pretty good, and certainly enough to light any gas you run, run by it on fire. Not only are ceramics useful in extreme heat, they're also useful in extreme cold. This is a space mirror. It's used in telescopes that are sent up into orbit and used to study our galaxy and universe. You may remember from science class that all materials either expand or contract with temperature. And that's true of ceramics too, but they do it much, much less than metals or plastics. So scientists on Earth can design a telescope with these precision mirror optics. They can count on the fact that the optics aren't going to change their shape when they go into the cold vacuum of space. Chances are, if you've seen any images from NASA coming out recently, they were taken with telescopes that use uh, silicon carbide mirrors to capture that light and, and create that image. So today you've learned that ceramics uh, can, can get really hot, but they can also get really cold. And they can do this over and over again with no degrading in their properties. That's not true for metals, that's not true for plastics, only ceramics. Uh, the question is, can they survive having a peep put on them? All right, here we go. Oh, that's not good. Okay, never mind, never mind. Uh, burned right through. 